All right, boys and girls. So I'm going to show you how to install Alice 3. So the first thing we need to do, we need to get on the internet and we need to type in Alice 3. Once we get there, we'll get to the main website. And when we click, we'll then be presented with the main web page. There's a lot of information here you don't really need. Uh, the main thing is to go down to this screen here, the one that's highlighted in purple. And there's different options. There's the 64-bit version, there's a 32-bit version, and there's a Mac version. Most people will have the Windows version, and they'll either have this one here or this one. Now, how do you know which one you actually need? The easiest way is on your computer, if you type about your PC, and then once you get there, you'll notice there's this, I can't highlight it, but it says system type, 64-bit operating system. If I have the 64-bit here, then I know the one I need is this one. If I had here in system type 32 bit, then I would need this one. If you have a Mac, you just get the Mac version. So I have the 64 bit, but most likely you will have the 32. You need to check. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go to downloads and I'm going to save it just here. Now this file may take a good hour or so to load. So I'm just going to skip through the steps and show you where it is once you actually have installed it. All right, boys and girls. So um, this is the finished file uh, once it's downloaded. So let's have a look now and we're going to click on this. And once we click on it, we should get a little window that pops up. We'll just wait for it to load. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, so you'll get this little window pop up, the install window, and it's going to prepare the wizard, which is an install guide, helps you install this program, Alice 3, on your computer. So first thing is you want to select the language. To be honest, if you speak another language at home and English isn't your first language, you could install it possibly in a different language but for our purposes of course we're going to install it in English because that's the uh, language we use at school uh, okay we press the OK button and then we should get another window that pops up okay so it says states do you want this to uh, make changes to your computer I do and this comes up here the Alice 3 wizard setup. This will install Alice 3 on your computer. The wizard will lead you through the installation. So we're going to click next down the bottom. We're going to accept this agreement. It basically means that we want to accept the Alice program and accept what it can do for us in our coding. We press next. We then want to do file associations. So this is the Alice project file, the file name extension. You notice this when you guys uh, open up in File Explorer, the files, and it has, it can't recognize it. Well, on your computer, you can make uh, Alice uh, files be recognized by the Alice program. So you want to definitely have this ticked. You don't want it unticked. So tick it and click next. Now for my computer, 
I will have this because I run a 64-bit system. For you guys, you may, on 32-bit systems, you won't have this folder, but it will recommend to install it in a program files folder, most likely. So I want you to press next, and as well, if you have a look, required disk space, 2006 megabytes is not actually a lot and most of you will have a fair amount of hard drive space so it should be fine as long as this number is not bigger is uh sorry is not bigger than this one remember megabytes are smaller than gigabytes you're okay to go so we'll press next this will allow alice 3 to be loaded on this menu so we definitely want this ticked and then we can start so let's click next create a desktop icon that will put it in the background of your screen so you can make it easy to double click on it we'll click next as well and it's starting to install the program for us you can uh, just get a drink or something quickly uh, to eat, to relax. This will take around uh, three to five minutes, depending on how fast your computer is. If you have a slow computer, obviously this will take a lot longer, but all the files will eventually be installed. All right, we're finished. So once you finish, all you have to do is you click finish to exit the setup and we should have Alice installed straight away. So let's see if we've got it ready. Okay, so if we have a look, Alice 3 appears right here. So we'll click on this, and here we are, all installed. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. I hope that you can install it. If you can't, try again as long as you have a computer that's i would say not more than uh 15 years old even 10 years old this should work for you fine and if you have an apple uh, you probably have a more recent computer so give it a go and then you can start away on your uh animations which is the best part of our coding project all right stay focused and i will talk to you guys sometime soon again